Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for Libra for the second half of your March from the 16th to the 31st. You can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the second half of your month. And then we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. All right? Libra. Tell me about Libra here. Tell me about Libra. Over energies for Libra. What is surrounding Libra? What does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect for the second half of their March 16th to the 31st? Tell me about Libra. What's going on with Libra here? Tell me about Libra. All right, we have the hangman, Piscean energy. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy. You know, it seems like you've gained some sort of perspective here or that you've released a relationship here that um, was built on fear of consciousness where there was a lot of resistance here, okay? So um, there is something here that you're releasing or that you're in the process of releasing here. It might have taken you a long time to get to this place, but, you know, I just feel like you're kind of like, in a way, almost reclaiming your power here. But the Knight of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles, this could be an indication that, you know, you're working a lot. You know, it could be that your career and your um, uh, your money is pretty much on the fast lane here because I feel like you guys, you guys are juggling a lot and I feel like you guys are working really, really, really hard. Yeah, there's a sense of reclaiming your power here. Uh, yeah, your money is great. I'm going to take all of that. So this clarifies the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles here. So the Chariot Cancer Energy, the Strength card Leo Energy, and the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy here. Tell me about the, uh, uh, the Hangman. We have the Five of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Lovers here. And the Tower. Wow. So there was a major shift in a relationship here where you're getting a better understanding as to why things happened here. Um, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like, you know, it could have been a situation where, you know, insecurities really crept in here. And I feel like you might have, you know, used that experience to work on your insecurities here. Okay. And, you know, it's a sense of also like, I'm feeling like there's a sense of overcoming your fears here. You know what I mean? So the moon here, we have the hermit Virgo energy. Tell me about the seven of wands here and the seven of cups. Seems like you did a lot of deep inner work here. And it just seems like you're coming out of the dark night of the soul here. And I just feel like you're feeling really rich. You're feeling really abundant. You're just feeling really good about yourself. You, you know, there's a lot of like, like you're radiating like just self-confidence here. Just really, you know, really embracing your abilities to do things that you want here instead of like, you know, kind of like ruminating about the past here. Instead of ruminating about it, I feel like you're learning about it and I feel like you're healing from it or that you've healed from it here. Okay. You know, I just feel like through this experience that you went through here regarding your uh, spirit, uh, spiritual journey or your healing journey here, I feel like a lot of doors have really opened up for you here, Libra. Okay. In terms of like life and career and money here, um, let's see. What else do we have here for Libra? Outcome and advice here for Libra regarding their situations. What else does Libra need to know? Look out for, work on here for uh, March, for the second half of their March. You know, the King of Swords here and the um, Four of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Four of Swords here. Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. Wow. 
I, I feel like this is the individual that hurt you here in the past. This is the individual that left you out in the cold here. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like almost this energy that you dealt with here in the past, I felt like it was like a very verbally abusive person. I feel like this, it was kind of like a, kind of like a bit of a drill sergeant. So I don't know if this person has like a military background, but I feel like this person is very domineering. Yeah, I feel like this person really made you feel like you didn't have you know the abilities or capabilities of doing things that you really wanted to do here because i feel like this person made you second guess yourself here all right let's see what else we have here with the ace of cups and the six of cups wow okay interesting ace of cups and the six of cups um you know one of two things here uh either this king of swords is the past person that's trying to come back or that you could be meeting a, uh, a new love here who is a past life soulmate, okay? King of Swords here. King of Swords here. We have the King of Pen Well, we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. Oh, you might have a decision between two people. Four of Swords here and the Three of Swords. Whoa, what is going on here? Okay, this is some sort of like weird love triangle situation here. You know, because I feel like this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles, this could have been your soulmate, okay? This could have been someone that you're dealing with here. But I do feel like someone here got involved in your relationship that really switched the dynamics here. Because I don't know, I you know, I feel like maybe you found out that your person was dealing with someone here of the same sex. So I feel like the, this took you a while to really, you know accept and sort of like move on and heal from ten of swords here injustice five of wands here and page of pentacles whoever this is this is an individual that's incredibly sorry for hurting you i feel like this person is facing some sort of karmic justice because i whoever this is i do feel like this person's life is kind of in shambles and this person's watching your life you know kind of like bloom and blossom and they're kind of like oh my god you know, so uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Energy with Justice. We have the Magician here and the Ace of Cups, Six of Cups here, and the Queen of Swords. This person is trying to manifest you back. This person that has hurt you here, yeah, they're trying to manifest you back. But I, I, I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person. It's almost like you're getting the last laugh here. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you're prospering. You've changed as a person here. Your feelings towards this person has changed. You know, I just feel like you're looking for new love and I feel like you're ready for new experiences. And I feel like you regained your confidence here, Libra. Yeah, with judgment here, I just feel like you've made, you've made a change where, you know, there's no going back, you know, because that, that judgment card is about making a decision, but this is different. You know, this is making a decision where you're not gonna go back on, you're not gonna backtrack. You're just gonna keep moving forward. So I feel like you've gone through a huge spiritual awakening here, uh, Libra. And you're doing really well. You're, you're doing amazing. All right. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Hold on one sec. Okay.